You know, God's quality of love is not something that brags. Over in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 4, where we get the definition of love, it says love is long-suffering, love is kind, love is not jealous, love does not brag. Bragging is when someone uses adulation and employs rhetorical embellishments in excessively praising another. Love does not brag about itself. It is not a characteristic of a person's attitude and actions that desires to be noticed and praised for what it is doing. That's not what love actually does. Those who brag about how much their church gives to the poor or different social events and projects that they're actually involved in or how much they help their, out their community, they're really not actually expressing love. And why is this? Because they're actually boasting and their boasting is showing that their actions aren't about seeking the best for the one love, but really about getting accolades. And in some cases, it's even about bringing in more giving. Because they use it that way. It's not about the one that's loved. God's quality of love seeks the best for the one loved. So by its very nature, it will not push itself forward. It's not going to brag about itself, and it certainly will not embellish what it actually does. This type of a trait that refuses to actually embellish its accomplishments or push itself forward to be praised actually comes from a mind that is framed correctly and humble while giving preference to others. Romans 12, 20 says, in the fondness unto one another affectionately give preference to the honor of one another. Over in Romans chapter 12, verses 15 through 17, it says, Rejoice with rejoicing, weep with weeping, while considering the same unto one another, not while framing the mind on high things, but while associating with the humble. Do not be caused to become wise alongside yourself, that is, measuring your wisdom by yourself, Having a proper attitude, a proper frame of mind. Love is going to withhold its anger against unreasonable people and makes others feel at ease because of its benevolent nature while not bragging about itself. This is God's quality of love. Remember, the world system thinks it can express love without God. And many churches today have fallen victim to replacing the love of God, which is among the saints, with a worldly love for unbelievers. You see, a worldly love is going to be a love that brags about accepting those who are doing wrong. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, it says, Holy it is heard among you fornication, and such fornication which is not named among the Gentiles, so that someone has a wife of the Father. And you puffed yourself up and have not rather mourned in order that he should be taken out from your midst, the one working such malignantly evil. Rather than calling this saint out for what they were doing and seeking to correct them, which would have been an expression of love. They were boasting about how they were accepting this one doing this heinous act. The world is indifferent to Christians, and the love of the Father is not in the world. So we should not be allowing the world to take advantage of us. Do not love the world nor the things of the world. If someone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him, because all the things in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and the pride of biological life are not out from the Father, but are out from the world. 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 and 16. We can fully experientially know what God's love is. And because of who we are in Christ, we can actually live out a quality of love towards other saints that actually shows that we truly are loving God. My little children, do not love in word nor with the tongue, but in works and truth. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 18. Let us love out from seeing things as they really are. Not a worldly type of love that brags about its accomplishments, 
but true love that seeks the best for the one love by following God's example for the reason that we actually know love is because he first loved us. 